everyone, Jackie here from JMC Creates. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator for the UK, living in Northern Ireland. And this is going to be today's project. So this is a box using the Paint It With Love and some acetate, swirly snowflakes, edger dye, um, what's that one called? That is a little wild tag set thing, okay? That wee heart's from the sassy hearts. Oh no, it's not, it's from a stash, sorry. This is basically a stash up, this here. So this wee for you die is from my stash, okay? And inside we have six Six cards, okay? Right. This is a star die from Do Cross. This little stump here is one of my favourites, and it's actually a set that I got free. Free in a magazine some time ago. And I just love it for kids' cards. The idea behind this box is it's geared at kids to give to kids. Okay? Now these are stumped the inside and the sentiment and the, these here are from the same stump set. Stumping up sequins. And these balloons, this is another of my stash up sets. That's those balloons there. And this is another set I got three years ago. But it was just perfect for this. Okay. So um, the papers too for this set are from my stash. And um, the next set they're mostly stamping up. That's that same stamp set and the sentiment is off at the same. And that sentiment's off at two. And that there is off the wee, the exact same two stamp sets. Okay? This is a little die from Dewcrafts. Just a little edger die. And I thought it was pretty. Okay? More papers from my stash. This is a party pandas. Um, the base card, that is Old Olive. This is daffodil, delightful, or something daffodil. Um, tempting turquoise, maybe. And this little star is another little dew cross that I had in my stash, and so is this one. And the we must celebrate is from we must celebrate. I've used these here a lot too. Okay. There, I cut them. I cut them into two bits and that's one. Okay. And this is actually a see-through card. Um, there's, that's off. That little animal die set, that, a stamp set that I told you. Okay. Um, this is actually acetate, so I'm not going to do this, but if anybody would like to see me do this, just give me a comment and ask, let me know. Happy to oblige. Okay. And, oh, that there is from the We Must Celebrate too. I like to go the whole hog, do everything. And then, this is number five, and this is another one from my stash. And it's another free set. I think most of the ones in my stash are actually free sets. Until I started buying Stampin' Up, I didn't really buy stamps. So this is this lady here. Little bow die is a free one with a magazine. And that sentiment is from that same stamp set. This here is from the... Garden Girl? Yes, Garden Girl set I used 
this little stump here and it's pretty okay and that's that one now i have one more to make up for this set and i have one more to make up for the next set so i'm going to put them together and then I'll start tidy up and see if i've time to do the box as well now actually i have one more to go in there but you can actually get three more in there which i might do at a later date that's a paint it with love i just love the way this is the swirly snowflakes from christmas and i just love the way that is around the side now this i saw this acetate in the front only on fan cards steph did it and mine's is a different sizes and i've decorated mine differently but that's where i got the idea from so um if i can't find the actual post I'll, I'll put up the link to your channel at least okay so let's get ready to ramble with two cards left to do one for each set right now for this set for this one i've actually used for the next set i've used mostly the magical day um that we dye is cut out of there and that's what my topper is going to go on this is pink glitter card from my stash i got it in b&m bargains um this is painted with love so we'll just stick that on as long as our dye is not clogged up again so we'll just stick it on Okay, oh, I don't know if that'll stick to that. I never thought about that. You see, we'll try it and see. We'll give it a go. We'll do the rest and see what happens. That's It's Your Birthday came from that free set as well. It's Your Birthday. I'm telling you, I, check out magazines. That's where I get most of mine. I only buy them if I like them. I don't. I used to subscribe all the time to a couple of magazines, card, quick cards, and card making and paper craft. But a lot of the time, stuff I didn't use. So now I just go and buy them as I please. Right. And this is the party pandas in the front of this envelope. Have I got everything out? No. Come out. You beast you stuck down on there how did you get stuck down on there in the first place yay perseverance right this is the magical day mermaid stamp and i've cut it out with i have so many die sets around here it's unreal Oh, that's the Swirly Snowflake dies for the edge of your box. I have so many dies and some sets that I've used. There. Magical Mates Framelits is what I cut it out with. And I'm going to put it on some. And see these wee seahorses. I cut them out. There's a wee tiny die in there as well. Where are you? Wee tiny, tiny, tiny one there. I used it to cut out all them wee seahorses. Okay, I'm looking for me. I'm looking for me. These things. Stilts. I know that's not the right name, but I'm used to calling them that, so. Game for a laugh, that's what I am. Game for a laugh. Back to my normal self today. Had it gone. Yay! Go me! Right, and we're just going to stick her on there. Now, that die for these is actually an apple blossom die. Which I did have out, but that I can't seem to... F oh, there. Yes, apple blossom from Craft Stash. This one here. And 
then she's going to go on there and we're going to use no we're not we'll do stilts we'll do stilts give it a little bit of height at least this tape whatever is so damn sticky and it's so hard to get the tape off it oops here we're going well Right, it's just gotten really dark. I think it's going to rain again. Let there be light. Right, I'm going to hold this up to try and get it right so that I can see. Not too far that way. Get, 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 get. get. See, that's not sticking on me that. I knew that. I knew that wouldn't work, flipping Nora. Dirty beast. So, back to the drawing board. Oh, my hand's going to be all sticky now because that tape is still, or that glue is still wet. Right. When all else fails, use tape. Tippity doo da, tippity day. I got a feeling it's going my way. <laughs> right. Oops, how did I get that on there? Oh no, that's from that. That's okay. It's from that topper. Right. Now, I'm going to stand up and I may need to bring it closer to me to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to attempt to do it down here. She's down now. She's going nowhere. Right, so I've already done the inside. I'm just going to stick this on here. These cards, I forgot to say, these cards are all 4x4, four four. so 4x8, four score it 4. Okay. I just thought they would make perfect little kids' cards. Because I've got grandkids who give to kids. And if you have some in the house, it's so handy. Okay. Right now, seahorse time. Put one there, maybe one there, one there. That would do. I'm happy with that. Where's my cookie tool? I'm putting them on these wee stilts here. Yeah, that's your wee friend going swimming with you. My husband took our grandson for a walk last week to the duck pond and he saw frog spawn and David explained to him what it was and the first thing he stayed here last night because his mommy was working the first thing he said when he came through the door are the frog spawns broken yet? Which and his worm means hatched. He's a memory, like I don't know what. I wish I had his memory. So do you. Right. Gems. Do we need gems? It's a strong possibility that gems are required. Like, you're just not dressed unless you've got a gem. For goodness sake, going out with no clothes on. Right, oops, I done to you. Sorry. There, pretty. 
Pretty. Pretty. Right. Where's the envelope? There's the envelope. And I did the party panda on there. I don't know. We don't need demons. Okay. So that's the last one for that set. It can go in this box now. Okay. And I'll talk you through the next set. Right. For most of these I've used Magical Mates. This is the one I have to make up yet. Um, this is a Spellbinder die. And this is just a wee dies from my stash. Dies from the stash. That's from the A Good Day. And that's from the A Good Day. Okay, that's one. I did three boy and three girl in each of them. So those papers were fresh florals. This is the shiny one. <laughs> I can't remember the blinging name. This here is a tonic dye. And these, this is a little square that I cut them for, right? And then I ran it through my sapphire. It's these little dies here. Um, are we straight or are we not? That's because I done to you and I uh, made those little corners. So you see that? See? Okay. And um, here's to a good day. It's from the good day. Okay. And um, Right folks, I'm really sorry but the video cut out and I didn't realise and I have the box made and I have no more acetate big enough at the minute. So, I'm going to talk you through the box and if you would like me to show you how to do it at a later date, just let me know and I will. Okay, so basically this is your base and it needs to be six and a half now, this bit here is your base. It needs to be six and a half times five, and you want to score it on all sides at one inch. Okay, this is your back, and your back needs to be four and a half times four and a half. Now, I cut two because I put one on the outside and one on the inside to cover the join where the acetate came in. Okay, and the acetate itself is actually 11 and 5 eighths times 4 and a half. Okay, and you want to score that at half an inch, 3 and a half inches, 8 and 1 eighths, and 11 and 1 eighths. And then you put the box base together and you just wrap the acetate around the front and it fits perfectly. Okay. Then you stick on your back piece down the sides and you do the same for the inside and that's your box done basically okay and your lid then needs to be eight and three quarters by seven and one eight and it's reinforced so you score it on all four sides at one and two and I've done reinforced lids in that before so it should be easy to go back and find out how to do it if you're not sure. Okay, and then you put the lid, that's your lid. Okay, this bit here is cut at two inches times a full A4 or 12 by 12 sheet, whatever you're using. Okay, and once you have everything put together, you then wrap it around the front. And all I did was place the back there and pinch it and then emboss or then burnish it, burnish the lines, making sure both sides were flat and even. And I did that all the way around the box. You only have to do it in two places, okay? And then you cut off the excess. And I then added a strip of ribbon, some gems, a little bow, a couple of the sweet and sassy hearts on this one. The four you die is from my stash and this this bow dye is from my stash but the card used is the springtime foils and the copper foil okay 
and that's the base or that's the box in a nutshell it's pretty easy to do and then you just put all your pretty cards in that you made now if you want to do this if you check out F.A. Ann cards she um that's where I, I got the idea some time ago from her on this type of box so if you wanted to check her out and see the way it goes together that would help you in the meantime so anyway that's my project over and done with for now um, I hope you like it give me a thumbs up call back and we'll have fun together sometime soon Thank you.